folks, and welcome to my first reading vlog. Today is uh, the 1st of January, 2023, the first day of the year, of this new year. And what a better way to start than with uh, something new on the channel, which I uh, only thought of doing last week, or last year at this point. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, now, probably not a lot of you have seen them, but I used to do last year, um... Oh fuck, it's already last year. Eh, how time flies. Today's been fucking flying. It was like the days just flew by. Fuck. And where was I? Yes, yeah, so I've been- I've done a few, um... Now reading videos. Yeah, now reading videos. Not a lot, I think about four or five of those, because, um... The thing is, I wanted them to be, you know, like, something I, uh, quickly update you. Like, the- some people doing, uh, now reading, or currently reading. And I wanted them to be, you know, s uh, release them almost immediately, because now since I edit my videos, I actually save editing sometimes for the weekend. Because, you know, there's a difference between editing, uh... 10 minute video and a 30 minute video. Again, I don't do such grand edits. It doesn't involve something that spectacular, but still it takes time. So, uh, yeah, those were uh, no longer a thing after that. <laughs> Cause it would just, uh, you know, I'd have to hurry with it and I still have my courses and shit. So I decided I, I still want to do something in that vein, but different. I decided to do what the, my friend uh, Alex Black Reads does. If I hopefully don't forget, I will leave a link down below. And, and the, the reason I say that is I think I'm gonna do these um, for the entire month, like a month reading vlog, like Alex does. I just, uh, you know, I watched those of Alex, I enjoy those, and I thought, you know, this would be more my speed. Like with my holes, so I'll just film a clip. Then combine the clips, and you'll see what I've been reading. In a way more detailed, slightly more detailed than my wrap-ups. So I thought, perfect! Well, this will be my first one. Thought, what better day to start than the first day of the year? Yeah, so it'll be the same. I'll give you the date and show you whatever I'm reading. Also, yeah, I also set my uh, Goodreads uh, channel, info channel. A good reads uh, challenge. I'll try for a hundred books again. This year I didn't reach it. I lowered it to seventy because I was closer to that. We'll see what it'll be this year. And as I said, I have uh, piles of books uh, and comic books to read, and uh, <laughs> they're ever growing. That's why I don't go into the bookstore anymore to not be tempted to buy any books. So I hope this year will be. Well, then I'll finally get a large chunk read. No, well, I'll see. It is a hobby in the end of the day, and I'm not gonna run to read through books. But it would be nice to progress faster. All right, so let's get to the, the reading part of this. Yuck. what's that on there? All right, so what I've been uh, reading since last month, last year, since December of last year is this. Uh, the Body, uh, sorry. Yeah, The Body Snatchers by Jack Finney. I still haven't looked up how to say his surname. I need to do that if I make a thoughts video. In general, I'll do my best to look it up. But yes, I'm in, um, I'm in page uh, 57 currently. This is a sci-fi story, and, um, the name might sound a bit familiar because there's a movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Or the, the Invasion? No, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Which actually, some um, editions of this book are called Invasion of the Body Snatchers, instead of the Body Snatchers. And there's apparently been three movies as well, not just one. They're the same, like the remakes. I've, I've never actually known what the story's about, and I've never watched any of the movies. Well. Thanks to Mr. Collecting Chaos, I know there's been three. I always thought there was one. Yeah, I've seen on YouTube or in some videos this one clip. as this, um, a blonde, mat, curly blonde guy. Blue eyes. 
And it's it's a clip apparently from the end of the movie where he's just standing there and suddenly does this. And then the woman that's far away from him, not too far away, starts screaming hysterically. Because he's um, not the actual guy, he's an alien. So I just I just saw this on the book depository. I also need to stay away from that website. <laughs> Not to buy more books, because fuck, they have some cheap books sometimes. This one was also cheap, it was uh, for 28 shekels, so I thought, you know what, let's give it a read. The synopsis sounded interesting. I don't think I immediately connected it to the movies, though. I guess I never watched it. But it's a story about uh, this um, one man called Miles... Benel? Benel, I think. How you pronounce that? Benel. He's a doctor. And one day, uh, his former uh, high school uh, sweetheart, that's someone he knows, called Becky. Becky Driscoll. Anyway, she goes to him. I said he's a doctor. She goes to him and talks to him about uh, someone in her family. And there, the nightmare begins. I won't spoil too much, obviously. It's a really short book overall. It's got like 200-something pages, and that's it. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it's different than what I imagined it would... Uh, no, I mean... Now what I imagined it would be, it's just when I started reading this, I thought it would go one way. I started going another one, basically. I just imagine after uh, it was told this by her family member... Uh, that uh, it's her cousin, uh, Wilma, I like the name, uh, that, uh, I don't know, he'd have to start proving that uh, what she saw is real and shit like that, but no, it went, it went completely a different direction. But still, I, I'm enjoying this one. I will say, though, this book quality is not too good. It's already, I don't know if you can tell. It's got, it looks beaten up, even though I haven't dropped it even. Just would put it on the table. Yeah, well, for 28 shekels, can I really complain? But a shit. I have more books by this publisher, and I wonder if all of them are gonna be like this. I guess I'll find out when I read them, because I have Necromancer and another one. Also sci-fi, I don't remember what, which one it is. It's in the box. Eh, never mind. So yeah, I'm on page uh, 50. It's seven, like I said. I do wonder how this will end, because even in the beginning, Miles, uh, like, writes to us, tells us that he uh, doesn't know if he'll still be around at the end of this. Now, let's say, though, the way the aliens uh, arrive is interesting. I guess it's not like The Thing. Uh, there's a movie, a few movies of The Thing as well. But that would no that that's different. I wonder what the thing was inspired by. I think it was also inspired from a book, maybe. Don't know. I'll need to look that up. Yes, yeah, so that's my uh, my book for this first uh, clip. I also show comics and manga as well. Um, it'll probably be a lot of single issues that I'll I'll sometimes show and sometimes not because you know. If I start the issue, I might already finish it uh, that day, and you know I'm not gonna drag it out for that. So you'll likely see more trades and uh, manga than uh, than single issue comics. But we'll see. If I'm about to start one of those, I'll also film that. But no, that will be less likely. So yeah, I think I will make this a month-long uh, vlog. Uh, which I think would be, yeah, it would be better. We'll see how many clips there'll be as well. It depends, uh, yeah, I want to actually show you updates. And I don't mean like I read five pages and I'll come film another clip. I need to either be, uh, probably either at the end of this book, and then showing you the one I start next, or already showing you the next whatever it is I read. My goal is to read as much as possible this year. It doesn't necessarily matter uh, what order of things. I'll just grab whatever and continue. I also have a pile of books I started and... Oh, 
haven't even gone back to them yet. But yeah. All right, so that's it for this uh, uh, for this first clip. See you in the next one. Hello. Today is the uh, 9th of January. And before I get to the books, I have some uh, really sad news. Um, I wasn't sure where to tell about it. Um, I figured here would be best because it is a vlog. A reading one, but still the vlog. I'm sure I'll tell other things in here besides what books I've been reading. So, um, on the 5th of January, my uh, great grandmother passed away at the age of uh, 95. She turned 95 in December. And, uh,. She wasn't doing too well, and she was in the hospital and passed away there. And uh, I didn't notice, uh, didn't notice, luckily I didn't have to uh, well, go to many funerals yet uh, here in Israel. And, but uh, you bury on the same day that the person dies. So, uh, yes. I just, uh, I, I don't usually share uh, much about the family, but if you, if you watch Cover Slingers, um, the first episodes, the first years, the year we started, you might have seen her sometimes uh, passing in the background, and, you know, walking by, um, great grandma didn't, uh, didn't understand much the concept of a live stream and, uh, what I was doing, and, Technology wasn't really something she concerned herself with too much. So, um, you'll see her there if you watch those. If you uh, watch, I guess. I just, uh, and I felt weird not to say anything, but also weird to say something to the, to the internet. But, and you know, I, I don't show my family on YouTube or on social media, so I um I don't I still thought I should probably mention it somehow. Oh yes, we are uh, holding up me, grandma, dad. But that's life for you. So yes, uh, there we go. I shared it. Uh, well, by the time you see this, it'll already be uh, February. So it'll be uh, almost a month since. Yes. So let's let's move on to the books. Yeah. Right. So uh, since I filmed the first clip, I've uh, I read two comic books. I finished reading. Um, uh, Assassin's Apprentice by Dark Horse Comics, which I found out was actually based on a book. So um, I'm not gonna pick up any more of that one. I'll just get the book at some point. Um, not, I'm not gonna buy any new books for a long time now. I really need to uh, finish everything. But yes, I'd rather read it in a book format instead of, uh, you know, yeah, instead of in a comic form, I'd rather read the book. Also, since it's uh, probably one of those fantasy ones and it's very long, I have to cut down a bunch of shit, but the comic is good, actually. I didn't make a thoughts video about it, because I... Although quite a bit happens, I, I didn't think there'd be enough for me to say. Though, if you are a fan of the book, um, I don't... Uh, I don't remember the writer's name, but look it up, you'll, you'll find it. Uh, a Robin, Robin Hobb, there we go, her name's Robin Hobb. My apologies, I thought it was a gentleman, it's apparently a lady. Yeah, so you, you can see, the, the art is very good, I will say, very, very good. And I've also uh, read uh, Vicious Circle by um, Boom Studios, it's also good. Um, now it doesn't uh, tell you really when the next one's gonna come out. Those are the uh, two comics I read. 
I made some progress in um, uh, the Body Snatchers by Jack Finney. I will learn how to pronounce his surname at some point. I will. I'll get to it. Uh, the book is deteriorating, man. I don't know why. It's a really poor quality. And so again, yeah, I just leave it on the table. And, and I, I don't know. But yeah, I'm still enjoying this just going slower for me. And I just recently came to terms with the fact that I just don't read fast. That's just it. I don't read fast. So... I'm just, uh, I'm just accepted it. I read at whatever pace I read. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> okay, I was trying to capture all the, all the faces. On the, on the cover too. There are a lot of them. But yes, uh, well, I made some progress on, on almost page 70. Um, I don't remember what page I said I was on last time. So that's that, and uh, a new book I've started is uh, uh, Mike Manola's Hellboy, Odd Jobs, edited by Christopher Golden, and illustrated by Mike Manola, of course. Uh, Christopher Golden uh, works a lot with uh, Mr. Manola. I've seen in comics, too. So, yeah, this is, uh, and by the way, this isn't um, the same book I have. I looked it up on my YouTube channel, the video, and the book I have is called uh, An Assortment of Horrors. Um, I don't remember if Christopher Golden also edited that one. But yes, it's also stories of Hellboy. I don't remember if it, I think it's by different authors as well. Same thing here. Um, there's also one story here Mr. Manolo wanted to make into a comic, but said now it's in book form. So yes, I don't know, I just, I wanted to start this one from what Mr. Bill sent me. I'm on page uh, 27 now. I read the first story. Uh, I, I loved it. It's about Medusa. Now, in this case, she's not. She doesn't seem as tragic. I guess I thought I'd start on this one. I'm. I'm not gonna jump and read all the Hellboy I have one after the other. As much as I love Hellboy, I also need a need a break occasionally. But I thought I'd get started. I wanna read the everything Mr. Bill got me this year. You know, and not as usual. I sit till next year. Yes, I started uh, this one. Of course, I'm enjoying it. It's all more stories. And, uh, well, that's it, really. Um, I'm going to... I'm not going to start any comics or anything like that until I don't finish uh, one of these. Uh, one of these books, anyway. And then we'll see. I, I might start another book. I also have... A whole list of books that I've started and haven't gone back to. Some of them I don't even know where they are, so it's gonna take me a while to find them. I wanted to read Dracula. I thought it was somewhere here, but I was wrong. I, I don't know where it is, so that one's gonna have to wait until I... The thing is, I have a bunch of books here, and until I don't finish all of them, I'm not going to ask Dad to dig out a box, because... Like that, I'll never get through it, and uh, also, you know, why him make him carry one? The whole point is there'll be a lot less books in here, in the living room, and then I'll put in the other ones I have. And who knows, there's one box here I haven't checked. Maybe Dracula's in there. Point is, I must continue reading. And I will. I will also update on Monday, um, 140. Uh, yes, 141 uh, of uh, consistently reading. So, yay. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, till, the, till the next one, then. Um, I, I don't set a date, uh, like I said last time when I filmed these. It's just whenever I make progress in something, I'll come and uh, film a clip. All right, see you in the next one. Hello! Today is the 22nd of January, and uh, I have an update. Alright, so yesterday I finished reading this, uh, Hellboy, Odd, Odd Jobs, this is by Dark Horse Comics. Um, it's written by several uh, different people, more than several actually, how many stories are in here? 
Ah, I, I gotta look inside, I don't remember. But it's definitely close to 10, I think. Uh, well, you, you'll see a thoughts video on this way before you see my uh, reading vlog. But yeah, there it is. I enjoyed this. Uh, I, I did enjoy some stories less than uh, than others. My most favorite one, of course, uh, no, of course. My most favorite was the uh, one Mike Manola and Christopher Golden wrote. Uh, Christopher Golden writes a lot of uh, Hellboy with Mike Manola, so uh, that that story felt the most uh, the actual Hellboy. But some of these were nice as well, I will say. But still, uh, that one was my uh, fav most favorite. I like the cover. So yeah, this is the first book I read uh, this year. I've read, uh, I've finished reading comics, but not actual books. So this is the first official book. Yay! All right, yeah, I've read a little bit in this. This is the one I talked about in the last clip, but I didn't show. This is um, uh, Ghosts of Fear Street, Spell of the Screaming Jokers. Uh, this is uh, what's it ended? by R. L. Stein. See the bag's dirty. The book's not in the best condition, but what to do? So yeah, I started uh, this one. This is my uh, outdoor book. You know, if I uh, go to the doctor or somewhere, and there's a waiting, and there's wait, there always is waiting at the doctor. So I pull this this one out and read it. I just wanted something I can carry because the Hellboy one's a bit big, you know. I can fit it in my purse. I have a big one, but still, it's not the most comfortable to carry around outside. So I decided to take one of these babies. They're small. The story's simple enough to remember. It's perfect. So yeah. I'm page 10, I think. I don't know when I'll finish this. Uh, it's only when I'm outside that I read it. Anyway, that's my outside book. All right, um, I finished the uh, comic since the last clip, haven't I? Yeah, I did. I just, uh, I just didn't make a video about it. Yeah. Anyway, what I've decided uh, to read now, I might pick up a comic later as well. But the book I decided to read now is this. The uh, one second. The Vault uh, Disney Film Archives, the animated movies from 1921 to 1968. So I've, uh, I've already started, uh, yeah, well, obviously I started, so I'm showing you. And uh, what this will be about is actually the movies that Disney himself oversaw. So that's why it's from those years. Those are the ones he himself personally oversaw, so that's cool. And so far, it's an interesting read. It's uh, how, um, you know, in the introduction, they tell you that people say that there's the Disney style, but uh, in fact, um, with Disney, uh, there, there were multiple styles. It's very interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. I decided to pick this one up. And apparently, this has like 500 something pages, according to Goodreads, if I put in the correct edition. I'm saying the editions are confusing. It has the same picture, but the number of pages is different. Fuck knows, basically. But yeah, I decided to pick this one up. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it's, a, it's a good uh, good, good exercise equipment, just lifting this thing up. If you get two of them, you can do this. But yeah, this is my uh, next read. I, uh, I don't know what I'll read after. It. Uh, actually, I... I should go back to the Body Snatchers, but I really wanted to read the Disney one first. But after that, I should probably get back to the Body Snatchers. And I like the story, I'm just not terribly fascinated yet. Well, I haven't gotten to any gruesome alien encounters quite yet. Maybe that's why. Well, I'll see. Well, that's it. This is all the uh, stuff for now. I'll see if I have more updates before the end of the first month of this year. Oh, holy shit. All right, see you in the next clip. Hello, today is the 26th of January, and I have another little update. Uh, also, the, the comic I talked about in the last clip was Creepshow, issue four. It's just I, I just got that one, I thought I'll read it. 
Because it's uh, the stories aren't related to each other. It's not one story. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can read it. I think I have a bit of a cold. Either that or I'm losing my voice. Right. <coughs> so that was that one. It's been getting... Uh, not hot, but it's not as cold as the past week. I don't need my super thick shirts. Just the regular ones. Alright, so I've been reading um, mostly the spell. It was the spell of the Screaming Jokers. By R.L. Stein. It's the Fear Street series. I think it was book number 40? No, not number 4. I don't remember. Well, I'll show it again, I'm sure. I've been reading that one. I might finish it today. I don't have long left, and then maybe I'll read a comic. I haven't read a comic in a week. So yeah, I might read that one. And then I'll go back to the Disney book. And another thing I've been reading, uh, started, is The uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And this is illustrated by Chris Riddle. Now you might have already heard about Chris Riddle on my channel. He illustrated uh, quite a few of Neil Gaiman's books. And not the books, but editions with his illustrations. I love the man's illustrations. Which is probably the main reason why I bought this book. Here, I'll show you a bit. Um, there's only a pretty cool thing with this edition. Come on. You see? And that's his illustration in color. Yeah, so I love the man's art style. There's also another side. Let me show you the other side, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so as you can see. Now, uh, I've read, uh, tried to read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, some years ago. I think I was mm, 21, too. Maybe more. I had the, if I find a picture, I'll leave it here. I had the massive, pretty edition. I think it was on sale, maybe that's why I got it. Basically, it was a nightmare to get through. I just gave up, fuck it. But then, I think I bought this last year. I decided to give it another shot. I think I got this at the store, definitely. And I thought, you know, maybe when it's in parts, it'll be easier to get through, so. Inside the because there are I think how many books are there? I'm not even sure if the thing's a series. Oh there we go. <coughs> okay. There are five then. Five books. So I get, yeah, it is a series then. Now this started as a radio show actually. And I think later it was made into books. It was Douglas Adams' idea. He's been actually writing more stuff before that. But I don't know if he ever published them. There's an introduction here. I didn't bother reading it. I might read it later. I was like, okay, let's just let's just get into it. I'm on page 40. I decided to do the same method I did with It by Stephen King and just read... Well, in this case, I'm reading 10 pages a day, and that's it. So, you know, eventually I'll finish it. So I'm on my four, uh, fifth day of reading. I haven't read my ten pages yet. So far, it's still slightly boring as it was the first time. But I will say it's easier to get through because the writing's big and it's not a, a massive brick of a book. And the illustrations are helping, too. Now, uh, the first time I read this, I didn't know it was supposed to be, you know, funny or like a comedy. And honestly, I still don't fucking see what humor is here, but Mr. Douglas Adams is British, so perhaps there's something of a British element I'm missing. I am an Israeli, after all. So I don't know. Oh yeah, it's the um, 42 anniversary edition. That's nice, I guess. Yeah, so I decided to give this one another chance. Maybe, maybe I'll finish reading this and I'll decide I want to continue. I don't know. 
We'll see by the end of it. So far, I, again, I just, I, I think I want to plant Ar uh, Arthur, Arthur, Arthur's head inside a pot so far. That's the main character. One of the main characters. And I like science fiction, but this is just all over the fucking place. But I suppose if you don't understand the humor of it, it's not as engaging, perhaps. But anyway, we'll see. I'll keep reading this daily. This is uh, actually a way to get through some books. <coughs> Which I will employ the same method with Stephen King when I go back to the... Uh, uh, Dark Tower series. Dark Towers? The Dark Tower. No, the Dark Tower series. Yeah, although in that one I do have more interest in reading more than this one, but I got many of books to get through, so fuck it, I might as well uh, continue. And I am reading this, because damn it, I got it. I might also probably keep it just because it has Chris Reynolds' illustrations. And I love his illustrations. So this one will stay. Just for that. Probably not so much uh, my love of this uh, story. Alright, so that is it. Uh, all I have uh, for now. There might be a f uh, perhaps a few more updates before... Uh, I think I'll make these monthly. You know, I'll film throughout the... It'll just like Alex does hers. And I'll just uh, end it... Uh, I ended in January, and then I again started to film me start in February and shit. So yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Hello. Today is the 29th of January. Uh, since the last time I have finished the uh, Spell of the Screaming Jokers, and it's book 20 of uh, Ghost of Fear Street series uh, by R.L. Stein. I always want to say Goosebumps when I talk about it, because that's the first ever series of his I read. Well, uh, books from that series, I mean, I've never read the whole thing. I, guess I, I keep wanting to say that. Well, it, the book didn't go how I thought it would usually go, but uh, not a bad thing. I just mean, I enjoyed it. And hey, another one uh, off the reading pile. Uh, after... Uh, off the TBR pile to be read. Right, so uh, since then I decided to start this one. This is called The Injury by Anna Inc. Inquist. I've since learned that this is originally Dutch. So I'm not sure. I'll need to look up how to pronounce her surname. There used to be a sticker here. I managed to remove it. Shouldn't have, though, because I've done some damage, like, behind here. Oh, well. What to do? Look at the shoes. So, there's actually a little bit about this uh, writer uh, in the back here. Oh, she was a psycho psychoanalyst and a classically trained musician. So... I mean, that's definitely interesting. Actually, she was also born uh, in the year the, war the Second World War ended. Anyway, it looks like here she wrote some poetry. Um, I wonder if she's still alive. Perhaps she is. Oh, did, did I show you the photo of her? I think I, I did. There's a photo. Oh, it's an old photo. Yes, um, I bought this, uh, last year, was it last year? I think last year, um, in, uh, Tel Aviv, in Solmet there, it was for 50, 50, 25 shekels, it was in, a sort of a bargain bin, um, I thought, uh, you know what, I want to take this one with me, I always sometimes come across the weirdest, uh, books, Something I normally wouldn't read, but for some reason I feel the urge to take it with me. So there it is. I'm on the... Okay, so this is a uh, story collection. I'm on the first story, as you can see. 
There's all sorts of stories here. Uh, the injury is one of them. I'll never understand why they just take, like, the name of one story. I mean, I guess they can't give them all a short story collection title. I've said this before, but... I think they would at least put in the injury and other stories or shit like that. Yeah, there's, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stories here. Um, and I think they're all happening in the, uh, in the Holland, uh, not, not Holland, nowadays, Netherlands. They're all happening in the Netherlands. I actually asked uh, my friend's animation if she knew this writer. Never heard of her. That makes sense. There's plenty of writers in your own country, you know, we don't often hear about. Or never hear about. Sometimes you only learn of them when they die. Which is sad, but what to do? You can't know every single writer out there. I guess, uh, I don't know why I just decided to start this one. Still uh, want to go back to the Disney book, but I already picked this up, so... I will finish it first, and then finally go back to Disney. Still haven't read any comics. Uh, I do want to as well. They just feel like uh, reading books right now. Yeah, so that's it. I'm still continuing as well with um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I'm progressing. I'm going to be on page 80 today. Still haven't read my 10 pages. I think in f sometime in middle of February I should be finished. I don't know, I'm shit at math. It might be, might, maybe a little earlier than middle of February, because we're still in January, and, um... I will be on page 100. Yeah, I will be on page 100 on the 31st. So I, I might finish it, uh, yeah, I might finish it before that. Anyway, at least I'll get another book done that I, uh, uh rereading it even when it's smaller still. Because <laughs> I, I think the, the factor that attracts people is the humor there, perhaps. Because as far as the uh, interesting science fiction, I mean, nah, well, you, when he came up with you, you can't say it's not interesting, but since I don't really get this humor, I'm not very much entertained. I'm more like, uh, when is this going to end? I, I want to finish the damn thing, but the more I read, the more I'm certain I will not continue. I mean, I'll finish this one, and I'm not going to pick up the rest. I, I cannot get through all of that. The, the, I think this one will be enough for me. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, this concludes then my first ever reading vlog. I will say this is uh, easier to do than uh, now reading or currently reading videos because, like I said, uh, since I uh, uh, edit nowadays, it takes a bit of time because I have to sit through all the clips and I think a clip or two ago I said I'll put a picture here. And I mean, it's not, I don't, you know, I don't do very high editing or anything like that, but still even... Uh, Little bit I do it takes a little it takes time because you have to sit through everything and yeah. So this is much more of my kind of format. <laughs> like it is, I think. Uh, yeah, this, this is more my speed basically. So I will uh, do this every month, and it may also be interesting because then I could uh, update about uh, books and stuff. And I will say it's uh, in a way motivating to read. I want to tell you something new. Oh, there's that. So yes, I will uh, continue this uh, from now on. Well, this year will be the year of the reading vlogs. <laughs> I'll start including some slightly other things in here too. And I don't know what. I think only comics and shit like that. Yeah, maybe I can shove in a few channel updates in here as well. It is sort of a vlog. I'll see. The year has just started, after all. Well, the first month's about to end. I was saying that now without the sticker, though, at least you can see that it's an x-ray of a... Uh, leg? I think this might be a leg. 
or an arm. No, I think it's a leg. I don't know. I'm interested to get to the injury story. What's that one about? And I'm not sure what time period each story happens in. I will say that it's interesting with the pages. They put the numbers on the side. I'll show you. Uh, you know, you're used to them being down, but here they are, uh, are on the sides. Can you see? Yeah, I think uh, over there. See? This here. Uh, don't see that too often, I will say. I'm used to them being down. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe it's a different method. It's a bit confusing because I want to see what I'm, uh, page I'm on. I immediately look to the bottom. Uh, and then I remember I need to look to the side. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, after this one, uh, yes, I definitely need to go back to Disney. Although, I'll see. Maybe I'll... Yeah, I might do those. I might start something uh, different <laughs> later as well. And then, um, I think the next book I'm going to read a certain number of pages in is going to be... Because uh, I found it uh, when I pulled uh, this out. Um, uh, Neil Gaiman's uh, American Gods. Because I also wanted to read Ancy Boys. Or Nancy Boys. Not sure how to pronounce that. Um, a few years ago. Because I have read American Gods, but fuck knows I need a refresher. Because I don't remember what happened there too well. I mean, I remember the... the the, the basics there, but I, yeah, I need to reread that thing. And I'm going to do it in the same method. I think with that one, I'll do maybe 30 pages a day. Or something like eh, around that number. Because that one is, well, first of all, bloody longer. And at least more my interest. And doesn't have the... <coughs> Fuck, my throat's dying on me. Doesn't have the... Um, uh, yeah, the, the, this sort of humor that I don't get. Because I was interested back then, but fuck, it was frustrating to read. It'll be interesting to see what I think now. I mean, now I'll uh, end up loving it, unlike last time. Alright, that's it. This concludes my uh, first ever reading vlog uh, for the month of January. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the, in the next one in the February then. So remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye!